I'm at the Gas Hall at Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery and this is Roland Emmett's Marvellous Machines. Many people will remember Emmett's work through the film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, in which he designed inventions for the home of the inventor Kravaticus Potts. But for me, it's the inventiveness of Emmett himself that makes these machines so special, using everyday household items. There's a colander, a dustpan and brush, and a cheese grater. So we think of Emmett as creating these large-scale machines, but in many ways the more you look, the more you see. The boiler on the wild goose has got a cast iron fireplace at the base and toasted tea cakes going round and round. He was born in London but the family moved to Birmingham to Tennyson Road Small Heath. He was in the city right the way up until 1946 when the family moved down to Polpera. We started the society because um, we found that there was no information out there at all about Roland Emmett. When he died in 1990, um, his profile diminished uh, rapidly, um, so that uh, about two years ago we found there was nothing out there, nobody knew where the machines were. It was a shame that they were tucked away in storerooms. Uh, that's where they've all lived for the last 25 years. We spoke to the museum, who were uh, realising that there was a strong connection with Birmingham, thought that this was the ideal place to have the first big exhibition of Emmett's work. These are things that kids today ought to see. I think my favourite has got to be the Featherstone kite. Uh, it's mesmerising. When, when you see it start, it's, uh, there are so many things going on in that machine and it's, it's amazing to realise that the whole thing is done from one electric motor with a series of linkages and belts and chains and all of that complex movement comes from that one motor. Uh, quite astonishing. Of all the pieces in the exhibition, it's this cartoon by Emmett from the 1950s that I think is one of my favourites. It's called, Don't You Think This Three-Dimensional Business Has Gone Too Far? And it shows cinema goers in the 1950s literally cowering from a 3D train as it comes out of the screen. And we're also asking the same questions today about cinema. People either love 3D or they hate 3D. So whether Emmett was thinking about the future or not, it's insights such as this that make his work still so relevant for us today. But above all, everything that you can see in this exhibition is guaranteed to make you smile. If you want to see it for yourself, it's open until September.